so for the dough, we have one kilo of all-purpose flour. Then we have 630 grams of water and 20 more grams of water for activating the yeast, 22 grams of salt. For this water, the temperature has to be around 25, 24, 25 degrees. But for the yeast, we need it to be a little bit warmer, so more than 30, like around 30, 35, 36 degrees. And we are going to activate the yeast. So we are putting all the 20 grams of water inside. Once it is dissolved, we are gonna set this aside for around 10 minutes. So now, as you can see, the yeast is ready. It started to form this foam on top. So it means that it is active and we are ready to proceed with the dough. So what we can do, we put all the yeast inside the flour, all of it, all the water, all at once. And we start mixing with our ends. Don't worry, here at this point it will be still very, very sticky, but it will come together. We can go with the salt, all in, and we continue to mix. We go now with the salt, so it will be easier for it, for the dough to be absorbed. You can take a wet tea towel. You can leave it here room temperature for around 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, as you can see, the dough rested and this will help the, the gluten to relax. So with the help of a little bit of water, you can just go and very, very gently, very gently, you rotate it try to detach it all from the bottom. So what are we doing now? We are actually, we're gonna fold it on, inset, on itself. And you will see that the dough will become like smoother and smoother. Now for the last time, we are going to cover it and let it rest for another 20 minutes. You can see how smooth it is. Leave it like this, don't go super, super tight. As you can see on top, it's very nice and smooth. Oil, not that much, just a little bit. And we can place the dough the bowl, here it is, with some plastic wrap. At this point, the dough is basically ready. We can move it uh, and let it proof overnight inside the fridge. After like one night in the fridge, this, the dough should be like this. Make sure like that the dough doubled in, in size. That is more important than the time, honestly. Make sure that is completely detached from the bowl. And at this point, we can just flip it. And now we can proceed with, we can portion it. So usually I divide it into bowls of like 250 grams, which is it around eight to nine ounces. So yeah, we, we can cut it, divide it. This with one. The dough, uh, you start from the side, you take one side, you bring it in the middle. The other side, middle, middle, all the way around. All the way around, make sure it is nice and tight. You bring everything together, like a little bread. You flip it and you rotate.
And here we are with the dough ready. And after we rolled it, you can leave at room temperature for like around three to four hours. Just always make sure they are doubled in volume. And if you notice that they are going too fast, as we did in this case, you can place them in the fridge for around one to two hours until service time. And you have the pizza beautiful and proof ready for beautiful pizzas.